Welcome to the pre-class video on spontaneity and Gibbs free energy. So as we learned in class last time, you can't say that all spontaneous reactions have a positive delta S. And that's because you have to look at the system and the surroundings. Right? And there are actually two parameters that are important. One is S, or the entropy, or more specifically, delta S, the change in entropy. And the other piece is heat transfer, delta H. Right? So enthalpy, if I talk about heat going from the system to the surroundings, how does that affect the entropy of the surroundings? Well, that's going to increase the entropy of surroundings because increased temperatures increase entropy. Yeah. If I put heat to the surroundings, they're going to heat up. Yeah. Temperatures are going to rise. Molecules are going to move around more. And entropy for the surroundings is going to increase. Right? So we can define the entropy of the surroundings in relation to this delta H or enthalpy. So that's transferred out. Entropy changes on the outside. If heat transfers in, well, that means entropy is being lost on the outside. Mm -hmm. right? And so it's really the combination of both of these together that are going to tell us whether a reaction is spontaneous or not. Uh, and the scientists, guess who the scientists that first devised this uh, idea or formalized it was? Joel Goldes. No, but it started with a G. Oh, I'm close. I'm on the right track. Right. Gibbs. Gibbs. Uh, and the overall, he tied these two things together and called it Gibbs free energy. Right? You kind of discover something, you get to name it after yourself. <laughs> Um, and that's what we're going to be learning about, is what's this gives free energy and then using it to predict spontaneity for reactions. Okay. See you in class.